So what is up guys, this is AG, you're watching Techbox Community, and I'm back with another video. And guys, by now we all have heard about Google Lens, or the potential that it carries. Google first released Google Lens in its Google I.O. 2017. We saw its potential, we saw what it can do. It could recognize and erase layers from the images that we don't want. It could do image recognition and give us information on that image. It was so good that we all wanted it, guys. But obviously, it was still not ready for the public. It became ready and was introduced to the public through the Google Pixel devices in November. And in that time, on the Google Pixel devices, Google Lens was incorporated into the Google Assistant. The two features went hand in hand. But that was for the Google Pixel devices, guys. It is still that for the Google Pixel devices. But what about the rest of the world? Not everybody uses a Google Pixel device. Majority of the world uses Samsung device, or a OnePlus device, or an HTC device. What about them? So your call has been finally answered and you now get Google Lens. Yes guys, Google has finally released an update to its Google Photos application on the 2nd of March which incorporates Google Lens into the Google Photos. Now that was a bit complicated. What it means in simple terms is that Google Lens is not an application, it's a service, it's an update, it's a feature that has been added to your Google Photos application. If you want to use the Google Lens features, you need to open a photo inside Google Photos. That's all guys. Now how can you get Google Lens? It's simple guys, just open Play Store, navigate to Google Photos and check if you have it installed or not. Of course if you have an Android device, you will have it installed. Yet, if you don't have it installed, just install it, your job's done. And if you already have it installed, update it to the March 2nd version of Google Photos. You can see all the changes in the change log in the description section. After you've done updating, open Google Photos and you can't see a Google Lens icon anywhere. Can you? Wait guys, open a picture. You can now see a Google Lens icon pop up in the bottom right hand corner. Click on it and then just click on get started. That's it guys, Google Lens is now activated on your Google Photos. Now what do you need to do to use Google Lens? Just click on a picture and then tap on the Google Lens icon. It'll do some animation, some image recognition and give you information based on what it sees. And guys, to be very frank, this feature is unique guys. It's, it is so, so, so accurate that I was astonished at first. It could have, it could recognize anything from a book to a flower to a leaf to, to food to everything that is on the internet. It can recognize anything that you throw at it. Just remember that it should be clear, it should be well lit, and the camera should recognize the picture. It should be in focus. That's it. Now what all can you do? At the moment, you can recognize text from an image and you can then edit, copy and do whatever you want to do with that text. You can take images of food, flowers, animals, anything you want and Google Lens is going to do an image search on Google and give you the relevant answers. Or you've seen a book in a library but you don't want to buy it. Click a picture of that book and then use Google Lens to recognize it. It is going to give you information of the, about the book and if the book is present in the Google Books library, then it is also going to give you that in the search results. And guys, I have to tell you, this freakishly accurate every single time. I'm all praises about this service, guys. Google Lens, it's a huge thumbs up. And if you have liked this video, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. But even if it's not a huge thumbs up, a small one will do. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's this face of me that's coming up, appearing somewhere around here. Click on it, subscribe, and see you again in the next video.